Okay, I challenge you that the next time something bad happens in your life, think to yourself, it's a blessing. And I know that doesn't make any sense. At least it doesn't right now. And it sure didn't make any sense to me until I kind of ran across two different things. The first was a story. And the second one was a certain golden tooth. And what, what both of them ended up teaching me in the end was that I can use my mind a whole lot better to make my life a whole, whole lot better. Now, if you're interested in making your life a whole, whole lot better and using your mind a lot better, stick around. I'm Michael Cole, and welcome to my world. So, the story. We'll start with that one first. Uh, and unfortunately, my wife and I have been racking our brains to try to figure out where we read the story. And we both read it separately. But we've looked through our books and just can't find it. Uh, so if I do find it in the end, I'll link to it down below so you can uh, take a look at it if you'd like. But anyways, the, the story was about this woman and she went to India. I think to, you know, study with the masters or to understand, you know, the meaning of life or whatever it happened to be. And so she ended up in this one small town. And when she was there, this one family graciously invited her to stay with them while she was there in the town. And um, it was just, you know, a small family, very small. They had, I think, a couple of rooms or something like that, their, their home or apartment that they lived in. And uh, one night, uh, she wanted to meditate, and they told her, oh, go, you know, go in the second room, right? The, their little kind of spare room there. So she went in, she lit a candle up on top of this box or suitcase or something like that, and meditated and did all of that, and everything was wonderful. Uh, and she then went out with the rest of the family, but unfortunately forgot the candle, or it may have been the incense, I'm not sure what it was. But of course, a fire started unfortunately. Um, everybody made it out alive, except the only problem was is that most of all of their belongings burned in the fire. And the woman, of course, she was going crazy. She's like, you know, oh my God, I, I destroyed everything that they owned. And the guy kept telling her, don't worry, calm down, it's fine, don't worry. You know, and she says, no, no, but I did, you know, all of this stuff. And she goes, no, it's a blessing. And something about that stuck with me. Now, I didn't understand exactly what it was about, okay? I mean, you can kind of maybe figure out that at one level, you know, if I lose all of my things, but I've got my life, it's a blessing, right? But, but me, I'm a pack rat, right? I got all this stuff back here and my wife patiently, I think she goes crazy with it, honestly. And I'm sorry about that, really sorry. But uh, I like my stuff. So when he says it's a blessing, when he lost his stuff, okay, I get. I'm, I'm attached to this stuff, right? But I also, there was something in me that says that there was something else going on. There's something deeper in there, especially the way he put it, it's a blessing. Because it wasn't just about that. And then how the uh, magic, well, I don't know if, if okay, if you saw the last... Uh, episode. Um, I talk in there about how the two things that I really like in life are the mind and what I call magic. Okay, there's, you know, in, in life, there's like the physical aspect of things and, you know, doing things, taking action to get stuff done. But I'm really fascinated with mind and how it works, you know, fears and strength and courage or whatever. And then the whole other part, which is I call magic, which is the unexplained stuff that you can't explain within the physical aspect of stuff, right? And that's, you know, I kind of term like the universe, God, angels, your guides, whatever. It's like there's always some other stuff there to help you out along the way if you, if you let it, if you're open to it. And I think that's what this story was. That was kind of like the first step. And so... The whole magic, the universe, kind of says, here's a little story for you to kind of get stuck in your head because we're going to teach you a lesson. <laughs> okay? So then the, the lesson started, the real lesson started then um, a few weeks ago because my wife and I were watching a movie 
and uh, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm having having this great ice cream, right? It's fantastic. I don't know. It's got like Heath Bar Crunch in there, or whatever the deal is. And all of a sudden, I bit down, and there was something harder than a Heath Crunch bar in there. And it turned out it was a part of my crown, one of the crowns back here. And uh, I was like, my mind immediately went to bad stuff, right? Because I'm going, oh crap. You know, now I've got to either get a new crown or if I can't get a crown, if they can't seed another one on there, then I've got to have it drilled out and put an implant or something. And that's, of course, going to lead to dentures and that's going to lead to me losing all my teeth. And it's just a tr utter tragedy, right? Yeah, you can see a pattern, right? When something bad happens in my life, I immediately go to that place where it's all bad, it's nasty and all this stuff, right? So you can tell right away what that does to the mind, yeah? And what maybe you might experience. So anyways, the uh, universe had a good plan for me. So the next day I called uh, to the dentist's office, got an appointment, which wasn't until a week and a half later, which of course, right, the bad stuff, I immediately went there going like, oh my God, now what if it really breaks off and shatters and what, you know, shut up, right? Okay. But you get the point. I'm doing all this junk. But now, the next part of it is where the magic happened. Okay. And this is where the universe kind of came in and says, we're going to teach you a lesson. So we wake up the morning uh, that we're going to go to the dentist's office. And through a weird quirk of our dental insurance, it's two hours away, just outside of Portland. We live in Oregon. And, uh, I do not like making that drive because it's two hours one way. It pretty much destroys your whole day. We hit traffic and all this stuff, right? Again, tragedy. So, but when we left, my wife kind of like plugs in the coordinates into the GPS and um, there's like three different routes. And she says, oh, what's this one? And I looked and there's this one route that doesn't take the same you know route that we usually go into the traffic it kind of goes a little north and everything and i go okay well it's the same amount of time so let's try that one so she plugs it in we go off on our merry way and all of a sudden it is like magic right it's there's no traffic it's the back roads we're driving through oregon wine country of all things right so we got you know vineyards and hills and you know we've got orchards full of nut trees along the way. I mean, it was fantastic. And the best thing was no traffic. That was my thing. So we finally get to the, the dental office and, and already the, the story is kind of knocking in my head, right? And it's saying, see, it's not that bad. Maybe it's a blessing that your uh, tooth came off, right? So I was kind of laughing at that and okay, fine. I get into the office and uh, the dentist checks it out and says, okay, it's fine. You can get a, you can get a crown. No problem. We can, we can put it on there. And of course it's a gold crown, right? The golden tooth, uh, which is now my reminder to myself that even when something bad happens, it's a blessing. And here's the funny thing, because I already had a bunch of blessings up until there, but there's more. Okay. And it's crazy how it happens. So after the dental, dental appointment, we, um, my wife has wanted to get a nice pair of boots, right? And, uh, so we found a shoe store and, you know, put that into the GPS, got up there, pulled into the, the parking lot and there right in front of us was a, well, the, the shoe store was over here, but then there's a bar, a Korean barbecue restaurant which my wife says, I've always wanted to have Korean barbecue, right? So yet again, right, you know, things are happening. And, but the problem was, is Michael, right? His backside started to tighten up already, right? Even in the midst of probably one of the better days of my life, when the universe is showing me it's a blessing, it's a blessing, right? I started tightening up because I'm going, well, if we stay here, we're going to maybe hit bad traffic on the way home and all of this stuff, right? And, and it was, I know, it was crazy, right? I think the universe at that time probably want to pick up, wanted to pick up like a trash can nearby and whack it upside my head just to get my attention and say, you idiot, do you see what you're living today? 
were giving you a message the whole day. But I will admit, I finally said to myself, shut up, just shut up because this whole day is pretty nice and maybe, just maybe, it's gonna be okay. Of course it was, right? We sat there, we barbecued on the little table, you know, with the barbecue thing and the sticks and all of these kind of things. The food was great, the server was fantastic, and we had a ball. And then after that, we went over to the shoe store and she not only found her boots, which were fantastic and perfect, right? She also found a pair of dress shoes that she needed, just a simple black pair, right? Something you always need, but she couldn't find the right one and the right fit, and there it was. It's a blessing. But the best bless, best blessing really was in the end after that. Uh, on our drive home, uh, again, driving through the Oregon wine country and everything, it was wonderful. We just talked, and we talked about life, my wife and I, we talked about our art, we talked about our relationship, and we realized a bunch of fantastic things on all those counts and things we wanted to do in the future. So in the end, the universe completely delivered to me the lesson and helped me understand what the story was really about. That you can focus in that way, that you can have even something that bad happens, to sit there and just say, you know what, it's a blessing. And actually, it really is. And I have used this every time something bad has happened since then. I've used this trick, this kind of thing to just flip it over, and it's worked every time. I'm much more calm as soon as something you know bad happens. I'm instantly more calm, and I sit there and I just say, it's a blessing. And I pretty much watch and have it show up. It's fantastic. And that's the best way to use your mind. Instead of focusing on the bad stuff that's going to happen, you get to focus on it's a blessing. And how do you think that's going to turn out in my life? Okay, now, it's your turn, okay? It's your turn. So the next time you get something bad happen in your life, it's really easy, actually. All you do is you just sit there and you say to yourself, you flip it over and you say, it's a blessing. And then the next thing you do is nothing. You sit back and let God or the universe or your angels or your guides or whatever, you let the magic prove it to you. It really does work. Anyway, that's the episode for this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like, and you can also subscribe if you want. If you haven't already, come along for the journey. It's going to be fun. And maybe we all together can remember to focus on, no matter what happens in our life, it's a blessing. Because in the end, it is. Love you. <laughs>